Okay, finishing this out, we uh, completed the square to get our um, standard form. And then from the standard form, we knew our a squared and our b squared values. So we found our c squared from that. And then a, b, and c are just the square root of those. Once we have all of this information listed out, now it's time to start doing our graphing and labeling our parts. Okay, we have to start with the center because that's the most important thing. And the center is that HK value. So in this case, H, what being subtracted from the X's, is zero. There's nothing. And K is what's being subtracted from the Y's, which again, in this case, is two being subtracted. So our center is here at zero, two. Now, A is the distance from the center to the major vertices. So that says we're going to go square root of 3, which is a little over 1, in the x direction. So in the x direction, I'm going to go 1 and a little bit more, and I'm going to go backwards 1 and a little bit more to get to those major vertices. Now let's go ahead and play name that point while we're there. So let's do the left one first. To get to this point, we went in the x direction, negative square roots of 3, and we would have to go up 2 units. So we have a major vertex at negative oops, square root of 3, comma, 2. And then the rightmost one, we'd have to go square root of 3 in the x direction and up 2. All right. Now for our minor vertices. Our minor vertices are B units from the center, this time in the Y direction. So in the Y direction, I'm going to go up 1, and I'm going to go down 1, and let's name those points. The bottommost one would be the point zero, 1, and the topmost one would be the point zero, 3. Now that's actually all we need in order to be able to draw in our ellipse. But we do need to go ahead and find our foci. Remember, foci are C units from the center, and this time in the x direction. So the square root of 2 is going to be a little over 1, but it is less than square root of 3. So in the x direction, I'm going a little over 1 and back a little over 1 to find my foci. So now let's play name that point. We would go negative square root of 2 and up 2 for the leftmost one. And we would go positive square root of 2 and up 2 for the rightmost one. And that's how we go about graphing our ellipse.